This morning, SpaceX is inching closer to its goal of deep space missions, but its latest test flight shows that progress comes with risks. Liftoff last night was textbook. The booster's 33 engines ignited, blasting the 400-foot starship into the sky over Texas. The booster separated, clearing one of the biggest hurdles. But once in orbit, Starship failed to deploy its test payload. Eight dummy satellites when a side hatch jammed. Then came a leak in the fuel tank. We've been dealing with some leaks on the ship. This is also what led to that loss of attitude control. So. Uh, at this point, we are kind of in a spin. Well, that's a fascinating angle. Cameras showed Starship spinning out of control as it re-entered the atmosphere, breaking apart over the Indian Ocean. Despite the failures, the launch marks the first time one of Elon Musk's Starships, intended for travel to the moon and Mars, flew with a recycled booster. There were no plans to catch the booster with giant chopsticks like previous launches. It was supposed to splash down intact but it broke apart as it fell back to Earth. Before breaking apart, Starship made it farther into space than ever before. Its two previous launches ended in explosions just minutes after takeoff. Just the fact that we got it into space, that was just a really big moment. The launch comes as SpaceX founder Elon Musk makes a very public break with President Trump. In a new interview, Musk, who's led the Department of Government Efficiency, or DOGE, says he is disappointed with Trump's so-called big beautiful bill, which passed the House last week and includes tax cuts that will increase the federal deficit. I was like disappointed to see the massive spending bill, frankly. Uh, which increases the budget deficit, not just decrease it, and undermines the work that the Doge team is doing. The big, beautiful bill still faces an uphill battle in the Senate.